Hey soccer players, today our foundational skill that we'll be working on is diving. This is our third diving video. The previous two, which will be linked in the description below, we've worked on first a step collapse dive. So a generally normal dive, mid-range shot, mid-height shot, things like that. Uh, the second video we worked on was high saves, right? So a step drive dive where you have to jump up in the air, kind of catch it and land on the ground and you're leaving your feet. This time through, we're going to be working on step collapse dives again, but specifically towards the ground. So you're going to be staying much closer to the ground, reaching for those far shots into the lower corner, um, and that's what we'll be working on. But first, we want to work on our hands. We've had other videos just like that, working on our handling, because your hands are important as a goalkeeper. You're the only player on the field who can use your hands, so it's important that you have pretty good hands. We're also going to work on our balance. So I've got this nice balance disc right in front of me. We've seen these being, uh, being used in other videos by Coach Fallon for working on different things like ball control, stability, all those type of things. But we're gonna be using it today as well. So what we're gonna do with the balance disc here, we're gonna work on this for two minutes, one minute each leg. You're gonna put one foot up on the balance disc and you're gonna stand on that one leg. If you fall off, you have to touch the ground, that's okay, just touch regain your balance and start back up. But don't just sit here and be like, oh, man, right? If you touch, you touch, find it, get back up again, right? That high intensity, that high work rate makes you a better goalkeeper, especially because you play in high and intense situations. So I'm gonna have my right leg here on the ball, you know, on the balance disc, and my left leg is here up in the air, and I'm gonna take the ball, and as I bounce, I'm gonna bounce into the ground and catch. So remember, when you catch, you want to have your hands in W with your thumbs behind the ball and your fingers bent slightly in, curved, to match, match the shape of the ball. So I'm up here and I'm just bouncing it and making sure I get a nice, good grip of the ball. Right, work on your hands, work on your balance. Now you notice my leg is moving a lot. That's because I'm constantly adjusting. Right, I haven't really fallen off, but I'm constantly adjusting. And that's, that shows good stability in your legs. As a goalkeeper, it's vital that you have good stability. You're often jumping up from one leg, but you're also often landing on one leg. And that's just as important, right? Because if you make that high save and you land like this, you don't want anyone to knock you over. You lose the ball and the ball goes in the net. So you really want to work on your stability. So after about a minute with that, switch legs, go into your left leg and same thing. If you want to make it harder on yourself, right? Bounce the ball higher in the air up above your head, right? Do little things. Maybe bounce it a little bit softer so you have to go to the ground. Maybe bounce it a little bit to the side so you have to grab it, right? Challenge yourself if you feel like this is too easy, right? Adapt your drills, adapt your training to make yourself a better soccer player. Now, once you're done that for about two minutes, we'll toss the bounce disc out of the way and we'll set up our drill just like so. Now notice, I've got two cones about four to five yards away from these poles in the middle. I've got two soccer balls about halfway in between. Now these poles here, this is the first time in any of these videos we've used these poles. So if you have these poles at home, that's great. Use them, if you don't, that's okay too, right? I have a pole here, a pole in the back, and one pole across to kind of create a barrier that I have to dive under. You can just simply do this with two chairs and a string, three sticks, anything at your house. If you have to use cones and just mimic this right here, this bar across, you can do that as well. If you have mom, dad, sister, brother, aunt, uncle at home, and they just want to stand here with their arm out, that works perfectly too, right? So if you don't have these poles, that's okay. Just find ways around it, right? Adapt your training. So, as I said before, what we're gonna work on is our step collapse dives again, but focused on staying towards the ground, parallel to the ground, right? So a lot of those dives we worked on before, we stepped and we caught the ball here. Those were our first step collapse dives. Second ones we worked on were ones where you drove up and caught the ball up here. Now we're gonna catch the ball down here. So the way this is gonna work is I'm gonna start on one side of the poles. I'm gonna dive under and through to get to that ball. Once I do that, I'll put the ball down and then I'm gonna run around, side shuffle, 
around that far cone and do the same thing the other way. So it's gonna look like this. So I'm on my toes, right? Ready, set, position. My knees are slightly bent. I'm ready to go. I'm gonna dive through, get the ball. Notice my knees up, ball's down in front of my face and I put it down and I'm up and I'm shuffling around, dive through. Same thing, my other knees up, ball's down in front of my face and I put it down and I'll, I'll shuffle through. So remember with drills like this, it's all about your intensity, right? This will be a very strange drill. You can probably already tell I'm a little out of breath. I just did two in a sample and in slower motion, right? So high intensity, high work rate as a goalkeeper, you play in intense situations, you're, you're expected to perform at a high level, so train like it. So we'll go through it for about a minute. You'll do this for about three minutes and then rest. So I'm here, I'm on my toes, I go through, and I'm up, I'm side shuffling around. I find the ball, ball gone, side shuffle around. Notice every time I'm making sure my form when I dive is good. And I'm barely worried about my mic. Right? Now make sure. So now notice, when I step to make that dive, the leading limbs that I'm stepping with, so right now my left leg and my left arm are vital in this dive. When I step with my left leg, I'm then pushing and grabbing power and getting that reach underneath the pole. So my leading left leg is getting a lot of power for me and letting me get to that ball. And my left arm is leading and it's being the first point of contact on that ball, right? As I lean, as I go here, the closest arm to that is my left arm. So I wanna use that arm to get there first. So it's all about that power that you generate and that accuracy that you generate from your leading limbs. So as I step here, I go left leg and I push off and leave my left arm. So we'll do it two more times. So I push through, I get there with my left arm. And I'm up, this time with my right, I push through and I get there. This is one of the tougher dives in soccer. You stay low to the ground, to generate a lot of power, but also be somewhat accurate. You have very thin margins for where you can go and you can kind of come up short and hit the ground and hurt yourself. So it's important you go knee, hip, shoulder, but dive smartly, generate power, get there with your leading limbs, right? Generate that power with your, your leading leg and get there first with your leading arm. If you do that at a high intense rate and high performance, you'll have fun, you'll get better.